Today we're in Granbury, Texas, finalizing episode nine of the Texas Generals, profiling General Hiram Granbury. And we're in the Granbury Cemetery where he is buried and there is a cenotaph for uh, his wife, Fanny. So um, we'll be taking some pictures and shooting some video here in the cemetery and then down at the county courthouse where there is a uh, monument to uh, General Granbury. And then uh, over to the Hood County Museum where we hear that there is a uh, uh, General Granbury's uh, first headstone. Well, we're in downtown Granbury, headed over to the uh, County Courthouse to do some uh, video shots of the uh, Granbury Monument that's sitting on the Hood County uh, Courthouse grounds. It's pretty busy down here. This is a uh, Saturday, so uh, a lot of people in town and a uh, nice little county square and a gorgeous county courthouse. This is the monument to uh, Hiram Granbury that sits on the Hood County courthouse grounds was uh, erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy. It's interesting that they have a honoring hometown heroes display out as well. That's uh, pretty unusual for uh, this time, but uh, it's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous monument, Hiram Granbury, on the county courthouse named after John Bell Hood, Hood County. I'm Karen and we're in the Hood County Museum looking at the stone of Hiram Granbury who died at the Battle of Franklin. We are told he laid at the back porch of Carton with the other Confederate generals was then buried near the battlefield, but was moved to a nearby cemetery. And there's even a story about Patrick Claiborne mentioning that cemetery being an appropriate place to spend eternity. He lay there until 1893 when he was brought to, well, Fort Worth by train, stayed in a bank vault there until he could be buried here with the ceremony. And we have all the articles and all the information about it. If you notice, this headstone is not spelled correctly, so our Sons of Confederate Veterans did replace it. This was the original headstone.